Alright y'all, my name is Rimno and I am here playing the Modic Skyrim, Living Skyrim 3. So, um, we will be fighting Alduin again. Uh, I saved right before, so I won't have to go through all the cutscenes again. Uh, so here we go. Will do. Alright, come on. Oh god, oh god. Um. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. Might as well save right here, so that I won't have to go through the um, dialogue again. <sighs> okay. You are too late, am I? Am I like going to die a few times? You know yes, I do. I do. Um. Oh no! 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 Not parent thug. Where are you? Oh no, not not you. Not you. Um Where are you, Alduin? Um Come on. Oh gosh. All right, cool. Okay, where where is everybody? Oh no. Oh my god. How am I supposed to fight that thing? That is strong, man. I know it, I know it. Oh my god, they froze. Where are you? All right. So we can only hurt uh, Alduin. Oh. Okay. Um. All right. Okay, try not to stand in front of that thing. Okay, I should probably just... Oh my god. Okay, maybe I shouldn't lock onto him when he's on ground. Maybe that's the thing. I do, I do. But I need thing. I need the dude to come down. Okay, um. No, 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 no! Where are you? Okay. 
Hurt him while he is grounded. Okay, run, 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 run. Oh my god. Oh my god. I I have no idea how I'm, sp how I'm, how I'm supposed to kill the thing. Am I like too close to him maybe? Yes, I do. I do. The thing is killing me, for God's sake. Um, potions? Okay. Heal, heal, heal. Alright. Come on, come down. Oh my god! Okay, 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 okay. I'm dead. I'm I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. I can't see a thing though. Is that dude supposed to be that strong? I will feast on your soul, sovereign god. Um. Magic, magic, magic. Magic, magic. Yes! Let me just save here. Because because I really don't want this to go bad. Um, Alduin. Um, okay. Right. You cannot prevail against me. I will outlast you, mortal. All right. All right. Um, so I guess that kind of killed it, almost. But does not seem dead. Greetings, Parthenax. How are you doing today? Where are you going, Parthenax? Come here, talk to me. Tell me what happened. Where did Alduin go? Yo, yo. Why are you flying away from me? Okay, there you are. Let's talk, Parthnox. Lot Congrach. You truly have the voice of a Dova. Alduin's allies will think twice after this victory. Um, it wasn't really a victory since Alduin escaped. Nilivrach in Moro. True, this is not the final Krongrach victory, but... Not even the heroes of old were able to defeat Alduin in open battle. Alduin always was Pachlok, arrogant in his power. Uznagar Par, he took domination as his birthright. This should shake the loyalty of the Dove who serve him. I need to find out where he is. Yes, one of his allies could tell us, Mat Mahus, but it will not be so easy to convince one of them to betray him. Perhaps the Haf Kasayun, the palace in Whiterun, Dragon's Reach, it was originally built to house a captive Dova. A fine place to trap one of Alduin's allies, hmm? Okay, um, the Yarl of the White Friend might not think so. Hmm, yes, but your Soom is strong. I do not doubt that you can convince him of the need. Okay. So, um... 
All right, cool. So I guess that was the Aldoin fight. Um, at least the uh, first one, I guess. Uh, now we have to go to the White Run and um, trap a dragon in there. Is that what it was saying? I have no idea how to trap a dragon in White Run though. Maybe one of them will come to us. Okay. So I need to speak to the Jarl. And before doing so, I want to spend some time until it is morning. Oh god. Alright. So here we go. Uh, quick save. Ari has something for you. And let's get in. So I need to find the Jarl, um, the Jarl, and talk to him, and trap a dragon. Uh, oh, wait, was there a dragon in here? Is that what it was saying? I have no idea. Let's come here. Where is this? Oh, okay, that's the dragon bone. Ooh, I see. I didn't really see that before. Okay, so that's why it's called Dragon's Reach. Jarl, I need to talk to you. May the gods watch over your battle. I need your help. I need to trap a dragon in your palace. <laughs> uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. Actually, uh, that is a thing. You know, I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. We'll just have to keep fighting the dragons as best we can. Um, let's do this again. What you're asking for is insane. Impossible. You want me to let the dragon into the heart of my city with the threat of war on my doorstep? Um, it's the only way to stop dragon attacks. There must be another way. The risk is too great. The threat is worse than you know. Alduin has returned. Alduin? The world eater himself? But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? Um, maybe so, but I plan to go down fighting. What about you? No Nord could have said it better. I'll stand beside you, Dragonborn. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? It's the only way to find Alduin before it's too late. I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. I need your help first. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. Uh, what if you didn't have to worry about an enemy attack? Then... I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping <laughs> scheme, but getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. Okay, uh, leave that to me. I'll talk to Arngir about hosting a peace council. Aye, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the barn. Uh, Alright, cool. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Alright, cool. So, we fought Alduin. Not a couple of times, um, not a couple of times, more than that, <laughs> but and then uh, we are going to talk to Greybeards about making a peace treaty in High Hrothgar. Um, the dude was strong, by the way. Um, kind of... Kinda... What? Did I hear something? Okay. Uh, I think the Aldum was level 53. Um, 
maybe I get to I need to get to higher level um, I don't know man I don't know it was hard though um, where is our uh, um, courtyard okay the dude is shouting something preparing for something um, what where what where are you? Um. Okay. Why do I have? Ah. Okay. Cool. 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 That was sneaky. And graybeard. Nice. Um. Where? Oh, here you are. Hello, Arngear. Aldwin. We heard the dragon ran shout from here. You defeated him. Uh, yes, but he escaped, and I need to find his portal to Sovngarde. I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. I need your help. I need to capture a dragon. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers in the way of the voice. I'll worry about the cap- uh, I'll worry about capturing a dragon. I need you to help stop the war. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. Uh, Yarrow Balgruff won't help me while the war rages. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Both sides respect Greybeards. They will listen. Partanax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even exactly. the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. Exactly. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Alright, so now I need to go about and talk to people, I guess. Um, let's quickly say, oh gosh. What are you doing up here, by the way? Um, okay, so let's go to Solitude first. Um, I believe Castle Door. Uh, since it is a castle. <laughs> so I guess um, after fighting Alduin, it's just going to be about going around and, uh, you know. It's really great we're friends. I was hoping to find some oh. way to thank you. We go in. I haven't done the Dawn Guard yet. Uh, might as well go and do that at some point, by the way. Uh, here you are. You can sell off that junk at bits and pieces. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? Uh, I have a message from the gray Greybeards. The Greybeards? What do those old hermits want with me? They're convening a peace council at High Hrothgar. Why? There's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. We need a truce until the dragon menace is dealt with. They are getting to be a problem. But I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. Um... The best time to negotiate is from a position of strength. Fair enough. We're driving the Stormcloaks back well enough at the moment, but we're already overstretched. That's what comes of trying to win a war with a bare handful of legions. If the Ember would just give me the reinforcements I've requested. Mm, you'll come to the Peace Council then? Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. I'm telling all right. you, planning an attack on White Run. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take White Run. Jarl Baldrum. Balgruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. 
On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. General. You people and your damn Jarls. Sir, you can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. If Ulfric's making a move for Whiterun, then we need to be there to stop him. Draft another letter with the usual platitudes, but this time share some of your intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Embellish if you have to. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Yes, sir. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. Sir. Talking peace with Ulfric? <laughs> you must be an optimist. Don't worry, I'll come to this peace council of yours. Okay, so now let's go and see Ulfric then. Ah. <sighs> main quest, main quest. So, I believe Ulfric is in the um, Windhelm, so that will be here. Yep, there it is, Windhelm. Okay. So, once we get in, uh, we should talk to Ulfric and bring him to the Greybeards. I, I guess he will come. I mean, he is a Nord, right? <laughs> So here we are, um, Ulfric, where are you? Um, I need to, I need to find you. Um, in the back. Yes. And in the castle. Barrack, castle, whatever you call it. Mm, Palace of the Kings. Nice name, Palace of the Kings. Why is it Kings though? Spent my life serving town. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without some. Do I know you? How was it, Helgen? Ah, yes. I could have gone anywhere. I came here to fight the Empire. What? A fair point. Well, you've come to the right place then. Speak with Galmar. I'm always looking for able fighters. Not everyone can say they made it out of hell. So long as no, you wait. fight for me with honor and integrity. We'll welcome you into our ranks. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not here to join you. Speak with Galmar. I have a message from the Greybeards. It's about time they turn their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? Uh, they want to negotiate a truce until a Dragon Menace is dealt with. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the Dragon Attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Uh, General Tullius has already agreed to attend. Good. We still hold half of Skyrim despite everything the Empire can throw at us. I doubt the Empire has the stomach for much more bloodletting. <laughs> so you'll come to the Peace Council? Yes. I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. Alright, cool. Um... If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. How long are you going to wait? You think I need to send Bolgroff a stronger message? If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest then? Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torik. Torik was merely a message to the other Yards. Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our army. We're ready when you are. Okay, um, so... Ulfric is in fact planning a... Things hinge on Whiterun. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not... 
the people are behind you. Many, I fear, still need convincing. Then let them die with their false king. We've been soldiers a long time. We know the price of freedom. But people are still weighing things in their hearts. What's left of Skyrim to wager? They have families to think of. How many of their sons and daughters follow your banner? We are their families. Well put, friend. Tell me, Gotmar, why do you fight for me? I'd follow you into the depths of oblivion. You know that. Yes, but why do you fight? If not for me, what then? I'll die before elves dictate the fates of men. Are we not one in this? I fight for the men I've held in my arms, dying on foreign soil. I fight for their wives and children whose names I heard whispered in their last breath. I fight for we few who did come home, only to find our country full of strangers wearing familiar faces. I fight for my people, impoverished to pay the debts of an empire too weak to rule them, yet brands them criminals for wanting to rule themselves. I fight so that all the fighting I've already done hasn't been for nothing. I fight because I must. Your words give voice to what we all feel, Uthlik. And that's why you will be High King. But the day words are enough would be the day when soldiers like us are no longer needed. I will gladly retire from the world. Were such a day to dawn. Nice, 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 um, nice dialogue there. Um, now I need to get back to High Uh, you know what? Um, it's about time. I'm kind of hoping that going to the High Hrothgar will not start a long dialogue again. So, you know what? I think I am just going to cut the episode right here and be back later, um, for the Peace Council or Peace Treaty or whatever you call it. But, okay, so I think that is it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, pressing that like button, uh, leaving a comment, um, subscribe to the channel. It all helps, so do those things if those are the things that you do. But again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all again. Bye-bye.